Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Outback Expeditions here in Planet Zoo. And yes, it has been so long since we have been hopping around with these little joeys and climbing the trees with our koalas. Look, there's a koala in the background right now! Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute! <laughs> But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back. I figured with all, oh, look at that, that's so precious. But I figured with all of the adventures that we have been going on in our Dinkum story, trying to make a, a home in the wilderness of the outback of Dinkum, it would definitely serve us well to go ahead and come back to our franchise zoo here in the Australian outback, where we're going to do our best to see how all of our Australian animals have been doing and to expand our tiny little zoo that we started here. Look at this place. I am still so proud we have done so much work with this. I, I cannot wait to see what we are going to be adding in next, especially if we carry on with the old plan that we used to have in our zoo of being able to add in a protected eucalypt forest. So we're going to be reestablishing some eucalypt rainforest. And as you can see, apparently we were working on some of the really cool red rock cliffs that you could see in the red desert of Australia. Oh, that's so cool. We'll have to kind of soften up some of their edges and make that really, oh, just such a beautiful backdrop feature to everything. But we were going to expand the eucalypt forest with every uh, one of the koalas that we had born. And I actually have some new ideas about that. We had recently added in cassowaries and we have a little bit of a, a population of dingoes. Oh, we did such a cool thing with this. I forgot how we made the dingo dig site. Oh, we were working so well on the details. I am so proud of this. I cannot wait to go ahead and patrol this place and see what's happening. Oh man, we're going to have a fun, fun time diving back into this, especially now that the conservation pack has come out and there have been so many updates since we were last here at this franchise zoo that we have a ton that we can go ahead and like retrofit and redo and make just super nice for this entire like facility. There's all sorts of new like the, the keeper talking points. We could have our keeper talks. We could have all of the new little play area where the kids can actually interact with some educational content. This is going to be really fantastic. But before we go ahead and go on a tour, Let's see if there's any pressing concerns. Ha oh, yeah. Sophia's camel fields. Yup. From when we were doing the camel challenge. I swear our zoos always get the messiest when we have to face a challenge. The current challenge that is actually going on happens to be breeding gold rated antelopes. So we might get ourselves some antelopes added in just so we can at least make a little bit of progress on that to see if we can contribute uh, to the worldwide efforts with antelopes. But I don't know, those challenges you know, they always tend to mess things up and then you'd get the challenge animals that I just am never sure where to put. So we're going to think about it. But I like to think that we should at least make a little bit of an effort whenever those pop up because it's important to make sure that, you know, if, oh, and Queen the Pangolin, like having pangolins in our Australian zoo is still kind of weird. Oh man. Oh man. But I totally want to use, whoops, sorry about that. Okay. I got a little, a little excited because I forgot about this dog. But this protective dome, oh, this is so cool. We're definitely going to be putting this in and we're going to be trying to find other animals that would do really well in this kind of dome environment. Maybe even making it so there's like some place for people to eat. <gasps> I just remembered, oh, we had the Zoo Tycoon 2 extinction lab here for our little efforts that we were making. And we had filled it up with all sorts of little treasures. Oh man. Oh, I've missed this. Oh, this is so much fun to come back to. <gasps> no, Maggie B the dingo is about to die of old age. Oh, we gave her the name Maggie B so that she could go ahead and she could actually be like super, super fluffy. But now she is no longer so fluffy. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Rest in peace, little dingo. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. 
god that is so sad i can't believe we just came back to this however however that does mean we actually have a new way where we could remember and memorialize the animals because since this has all come out uh we actually do have the animal memorials that we can make and meggie b whose name was not actually meggie b actually happens to be the very first of the the animals that we can memorialize so we're gonna we're gonna find a way to like celebrate her life maybe with some like art that people can come look at over here but for now i'm gonna go ahead and like put the sign up oh gosh here let me put that down really quickly and then we're going to let's see align to surface and we can actually change the color of the metal Oh man, I can't believe like building memorials might be one of the first things we need to do here, but that is part of the life and death cycle of a facility like this. And let's let's come and, and have the vet tend to everything. And we might have to go ahead and get ourselves a new dingo to keep the population doing well. Uh, oh man, we have so much to do. I'm so excited to be back here. But let's go ahead and start at the entrance and have a tour of our facilities today. Just to kind of see, okay, clearly we need to hire people to, to like clean up the trash. All right, fine. If we notice things that need worked on, then we'll jump to it. I mean, there's literally a bin right over here. I just... People need to not be rude, but I could understand how maybe having a couple bins by the entrance could help out. And you know what? Maybe we need to go ahead, check on our staff. This is this is the kind of work we should be triple checking on. So we have origami artist Paint Seagull. And then we also have recycle expert Dino Man, upcycle artist Holly. And they are all kind of patrolling in different areas. Oh, and there's no staff room park. For origami artist Paint Seagull? Oh, we'll have to take care of that. So I think we'll have a new keeper. Let me pull up our fantastic list of patrons right now. And we're going to go ahead and have one of our wonderful patrons who keep all of our adventures going and possible uh, pop in as a new caretaker. And this is going to be... Dun, 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 dun. Lauren! So let's see, maybe we should have this be Outback Explorer Lauren. Lauren, this time around, you are going to be an Outback Explorer with no particular work zone because maybe that will just help out with kind of like freshening up the edges of whatever we might need to kind of like tidy. But guys, I am so proud of this. We did a good job. Here, let's go ahead and we're going to do explore mode. But we did a really good job with just making this place super nice. We put in lights. Like, there's some, some lovely trees. We've got some benches over here. I'm really happy with how... I remember making these staghorn fern topped really nice light fixtures now. And then we just went nuts with them. Our cassowaries are in here! Oh, look, I can see them! Oh dear, I can also see how the glass is getting ready to shatter on this. All right, gonna need to go ahead and have someone take care of that too. We have a security department installed. Ooh, and we have a security personnel who was like on top of it. I don't know what they just did. <gasps> this is so cool. We made like a little interior, a little interior where people can go in to get educated. I love that. I love seeing how we reuse these container boxes and then we just absolutely covered them in plants. That makes me happy. Nice little chairs, places for people to eat. Oh, this is really lovely. Oh dear, all right. So there's there is one of the old style food trucks. We'll go ahead and tend to that so that it looks nicer soon. Hey, it's one of our keepers. Or excuse me, one of our caretakers taking care of things. And our kangaroos. Oh, this place could probably use more plants up along the edges. This is good to go into explore mode now and then so that we can kind of see like what needs spruced up here and there. <gasps> or look at this. Oh my gosh, I totally want to leave a bunch of these tires. And now we have like all these pallets and things we could leave behind. Oh, what is this? Huh. I wonder what that is. Interesting. All right, we'll figure that out with time. Oh, I love all the decorations. Yeah, definitely need more plants over here. <gasps> Grace, the red kangaroo is about to have a baby. 
Oh, we're gonna need to name one of them after the names that you guys left suggested on that last ancient episode we've had of our outback expeditions. All right, then we come up along the edges. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I can run. You learn something new every day. We actually provided people with shade? What, were we trying to be like professional here? What is this nonsense? Shade and protection? So that they could actually like stay out of the sun. Yay! And Grace actually has had her baby, which is very exciting. I think one of the first orders of business now that we're back is definitely going to be apparently giving more people restrooms and trash cans. Because there's so much litter all over the place. The kangaroos are maturing. Oh yeah, we were keeping the, the male kangaroos in a bachelor herd over here who we didn't want breeding. Because otherwise, they fight, which is kind of like a kangaroo thing to do. And then, oh, we've got another one of the food trucks back here. Man, I fell in love with those things. I can't wait to be able to use them properly again. Really nice bathroom. Oh, this area is plenty big enough to be able to put in another kind of animal of some type. <gasps> and I forgot how we had this adorable little barn. And we had the cute little farm over here. Oh, it's even cuter in person. You couldn't even do these kinds of adventure modes where you could just explore around last time. Oh, that's right. And there's a little jail back here. <laughs> that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, that makes me really happy to see. And then, that's right, you can come along some of the field if you want to walk through all of the stuff to come look oh my good gravy gosh that is a lot of poop from these camels we might be able to start like toning down how many camels we have we want to check on why that's not working too let's see another little spot for people to sit and rest man we were like really professional with this i am super impressed by us guys what the heck we just have like regular spots for people to rest and then they popped out over here where we had this huge area. I believe this is actually a security tree right over here. Beautiful eucalypt security tree. Oh, we made it look so nice. I am so proud of us. What the heck? We were like really, really, really on it to try to make this place look decent. We, we put tons of lights in so people could actually see what they were doing. I love these domes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to try out more of these domes. And then the pangolins hang out inside of here, which is very exciting. Hi, little ones. They were also part of one of the very special projects we needed to do uh, for one of the zoo challenges back then. I think we might put pangolins and we might put the camels on like maybe a breeding cooldown. Uh, this is franchise mode, so it's useful to go ahead and have a few of those guys constantly breeding. Oh yeah, and then we made it so that people could just walk through the fields and we had this big pile of hay <laughs> where I think I made that or like, no, no, somebody else made that and I, I just fell in love with it. All right, and then we pop over here where we can see once again the need for definitely some benches, some lights, some tidying up. I think this was one of the excess areas for our kangaroos. So we might get some more kangaroos and try to have some some of the uh, the various red kangaroos maybe at gold level. So we'll breed up some gold star kangaroos. We had a little area over here where people could, could just sit and rest. I remember now. <laughs> oh, for our staff. Oh, that was so good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have a little staff room over here. Apparently the dingoes could like dig their way out if we're not careful. Definitely going to want to work on that. Guys, we did a great job with this. I am so proud of our little outback area. Yeah, we had a dig site for the dingoes with these special lights featured on them. Oh, this is excellent. Definitely need to tidy some things up, but this is this is quite excellent. I'm very happy with this. All right, what is this? All right, another little burger shop that clearly needs some attention. We've got more little areas that could use a little bit of TLC to kind of hide things away. Definitely need, oh, that's a really, really gross bathroom. Okay, definitely need to clean that. But then we loop all the way back around. 
Gotta love the exhibit animals. They bring in such a reliable amount of money. The pip shot smoothies. We have, oh, we can make this cave so cool. Like literally, maybe we'll put in a little temperature thing to drop the temperature when you're in the cave. And we had the bike rack area. Yeah, where you could come and like rent bikes. Oh, we should leave the bikes scattered all over the zoo. So it looks like the spots where people are able to just like stop and enjoy the bike. Oh, there's a, oh dear. All right, so there's one of the people who is inspecting the zoo, just like we are, except, you know, they can get us in trouble. Where's my cassowaries? Oh, there's my <gasps> cassowary babies! Oh, how exciting! All right, then we have the koalas who are roaming around the place, hopefully doing well. And we pop out the other side, and that is our whole area! Wow! Oh, that's right! And then over here is actually the eucalypt forest that we have earned. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's exciting. This is the whole eucalypt forest that we've already earned and we can put down trees inside of. I think we were trying to get a little bit more money so that we'd be able to afford those trees. Uh, easy peasy. And then we were going to, I think, even make paths so people could kind of meander through the eucalypt forest. And each time we have the birth of a koala, we actually added in a larger section of forest. I'm gonna play with how to make this a little bit easier so it's easier to figure out like how big of a section to add in. But this is quite fun. <laughs> I love it very, very much. And this is such a beautiful zoo. I can't wait to be able to add in more of the Australian animals. Can we sort by section yet? So continent, we can do Oceania. Which is, I mean, closer than not. And <gasps> the platypus! Of course! We need to get the platypus in here ASAP. Technically, the king penguin counts. I think there's penguins in Australia, which is something that constantly surprises me. But it's down to the, south, the southern part of Australia. More kangaroos are getting ready to have babies. I think getting the dingo population up would be really good. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, and our camels are clearly not properly named. And I think we need an official camel poop scooper. All right, time to, time to settle the problem of the camels because there's a lot of poop in here. Let's call a keeper over. Oh no, a koala has passed away. Ah, I need those koalas. Like that's really important that we have more of them. All right, so we've got a lot of work cut out for us friends because we need to make sure everything is clean and right now, the guest and the camels are kind of neck and neck for being the most disgusting things in this entire facility. So let's go ahead and let's see, why is this not working? There we go, camel. And then we'll get this educational speaker focused on camel. Oh man, they're loud, what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and then while we have the keepers come in and try to tidy this up, Let's actually look for all of that trash. And let's see what we can do. Okay, so there's some trash over here. The litter was definitely a problem. There's a lot of trash over here. So let's see what we can do about this then. We need to make more places. I mean, there's nowhere for people to put litter. Oh, and now it's dark all of a sudden. I don't appreciate that. Um. And we'll put out some of, let's see, maybe if we have a few spots for people to drop litter right here. And now there's no lights. Oh, creepy. That's kind of cool though. So we'll have a few things there. And then people definitely are making a huge mess out of this area here, which is not cool. So let's pick up our brand new Let's see. Outback Explorer. There we go. So let's grab Outback Explorer Lauren. She's wandering about. And we're going to have her clean up the bicycle area because it needs some major TLC. I wonder if this is a zone. We might need to zone this. But, you know, if there were no trash cans here to begin with, it makes sense why this was just a complete mess. Also, let's get some lights in. Okay. So we'll get some, oops, come on. There we go. 
Yeah, we'll get a few of these lights put in in a couple places. Trying to figure out, like, where I'm going to. Because, alright, we'll put this light in and then we'll replace this lamp with the fancier lamp. Because I have to say, I really love the design of this. It looks awesome. Then we'll grab this one. And I'm not just... Okay, maybe I am just saying that because it has some plants on it, but still. I wonder what we should put, like, over here. Because I feel like this area is just begging to have something that we could have people, like, enjoy. And I feel like we need, one, more places for people to spend money. But two, like more animals to maybe educate people about. So let's check the Oceana animals again. Uh-oh, inspector has left. Cleanliness is good, yay! Except on the camel field, and education is okay. See, I agree, we need to like give more education to people. Yay, and our vet education, oh, Southern Cassowary, 100%. But boom that makes me feel really proud. You know what, let's find an animal we don't have the full education for then. A prairie dog! Okay, I know that those guys don't belong in Australia, but this area is begging to have a prairie dog. Is it not? It totally is. Like, think about how cute that would be. The little prairie dogs running around in this section. Okay, so we're gonna put in some prairie dogs. Because this is just the perfect kind of zone for them. Um, and then let's... Oh, I don't have a workshop? How is our mechanic... Oh my gosh, we don't have a workshop. Okay, so then we're also going to open up a workshop because this is franchise, so it shares a lot of the resources with all of our other zoos that we have. But we still have some things we haven't researched yet. And you know what? I kind of want to see... Uh-oh. Alright, let's summon our mechanic desperately. And I kind of want to see what the mechanic shop looks like, if it's going to be something like these shacks, which are just so cool. Uh, and where would I put the mechanic, though? Huh. Hmm. Where would I put the mechanics workshop? I kind of feel like this area should be something pretty. Like a vista point with a little waterfall or something. I mean, it is supposed to be the outback. No, Willow, the eastern blue tongue lizard has died. Oh, no. And random, the dingo is about to mature. Oh, there's definitely sections we can tidy up several locations. You know what? I feel like having the mechanic over by... The bikes is a good idea because that makes a lot of sense to me maybe I'll stick them over here that actually seems like a good spot to be able just to like shove our mechanic back there so let's see let's see I love this theme we've got going on Australia there and then a trade center veterinary a workshop there we go let me have a good gander at what this looks like it's so cute. Look, it has a little room on a bike. How could you resist that, I ask you, my friends? Oh my gosh. I, I hope I can build things that kind of look like this in Dinkum because that's awesome. Aw, it ruined some of my little thing, but that's all right. All right, so now we have a mechanic workshop, which is a good thing. Oh yeah, we need to work on the antelopes. We've got donation profits. The exhibit board. Oh, because we're out of blue tongue ski. No! Okay, and a quarantine. Hopefully we won't need a quarantine, but I mean, I've said other famous last words. Alright, and then let's look for a new blue tongue skink. So, or excuse me, blue tongue lizard, not skink. Apologies. So let's grab, let's grab this male and this female, and we're going to try to make healthier skinks. Apparently, the section next to them is also empty, which is just a freaking pity, if you ask me. It had... Oh, oh! We have a lot of blue tongue skinks! <laughs> uh, whoops! We actually have a ton of gold quality blue tongue skinks. So, let me grab Hannah to get some new jeans, and then let me go ahead and grab one of the copious numbers of young males that we apparently had. There we go. And then, this is Tom's Best Creek Finds! Oh, that's adorable. Alright. And having two skinks side to side is probably not going to be the most exciting things for people. But I think that's going to be exciting. And we're actually going to take Charlotte and send her to the Trade Center. Because we're going to pull out Piper. 
one of our gold quality females and get a new line of blue tongue skinks going. And then we're also going to change this for their humidity. There we go. So this is Tom's Best Creek Finds and Gina's Sand Sculptors. Sculptures. Ah, I love when we give those things like really cute names. That's adorable. Speaking of which, let's make sure that we give these guys some great names. I doubt our skinks had proper names. So let me pull up the random comment generator from last time we were here in the Outback. And now we are going to have Cassie. So this is going to be Cassie. And then her mate is actually going to be known as Mark. There we go. And then on this side, we're going to have, let me randomize the names again. Chocolate and vanilla. Oh, Olive, what cute names. So we're gonna have, let's see, we'll go with vanilla for the female and chocolate for the male. I'm personally a vanilla lover myself. I actually named the albino squirrel that we have living in our area. Um, vanilla as well. So there we go, and vanilla and chocolate right there. Lovely! All right, so I think, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna get some prairie dogs in. We're gonna leave cute little bikes everywhere. I'm gonna get a little notebook and write in my notebook all of the cool ideas. Uh, and then we're gonna try to get all of the animals in Dinkum to some degree, because I think we need to research those animals firsthand here in our Australian zoo. If I'm going to survive the wild, hostile lands of Dinkum, where I'm just trying to set up a tiny little chook farm, and the next thing I know, I'm almost being eaten alive by a crocodile, which, you know, we've got room for saltwater crocodiles here too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be a good time and I'm just so happy you guys one of my other big goals I want to do is I do want to try to get enough cassowaries because they're one of my favorite animals and enough dingoes that we can have huge healthy populations that will always have a gold quality animal available so anytime we need them for some reason we'll have like a huge sprawling Australian zoo just like we have gold quality giraffes all the time in our African zoo I want to turn this one into into a, a kind of like a, a dingo cassowary koala like sanctuary also platypus <gasps> how could i have forgotten the platypus my sister would never forgive me that's one of her favorite animals and you know here and there if we slip in a prairie dog or two i mean what you gonna do they're just adorable but all right guys so i'm gonna grab some notes so that we can start really doing our best to spruce this place up and make it as delightful as possible if you guys could do please leave some suggestions about what we could do to our beautiful outback zoo to make it even more exciting i'm thinking of adding more farm fields adding maybe like some big rocky areas where it just looks like these flat rocks and maybe like some scraggly little bushes but then maybe we'll have like hidden caves like so where you can go in and there's actually like a lot of animals inside and it's just kind of hidden down here so from above it looks like mostly like this but from inside we'll hollow out this area and make it so you can actually go around and see things i think that would be really cool too well balloon got it but all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this oh dear oh no on this big adventure if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Australian section, which apparently has some very prolific Gila monsters. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!